Hey, welcome back. I am a little bit worried about today because I think you might have to fight a boss and then, well, can I leave? I don't think so. I don't think you can just leave. Oh, okay. Then I'm not worried anymore because <laughs> I don't have any items or anything. And I think you have to fight a boss. Birdo. I can sell weapons. Sell it. I'm just gonna sell everything. If I'm not wearing it, then that means I don't need it. <laughs> okay. I think I want this and this and this. Buy it, buy it. Um, toadstool. Have this. I want these. Give me some of these. And maybe a couple. Oh. Uh. That's good. What is it? Summons Yoshi. I should do that. Oh. I haven't used that yet. You could sell it for 500 coins. A fat wallet. Sell the fat wallet. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the capital stuff, I think. I don't know if I have too much more to say about it. I think I did pretty good yesterday. Did I do good yesterday? I kind of, sometimes I do kind of wish more people watched because I want them to, to disagree with me and I want to get smarter, but it's harder to get smarter when nobody's talking to you <laughs> and nobody's disagreeing with you. But I say that now when nobody disagrees with me. I'm sure the first time someone's like, oh, you're stupid. I want someone to be smart and disagree with me, though. I don't want someone to just be like, oh, that's dumb. You're dumb. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. Okay, time to go. I want to save. I was looking at the walkthrough, and it was like... I'm on part 12 of like 30 or something. I'm not even close. But that says... I finished the game at level 20, and I'm at level 15. So that would... Yeah, so I'm only like two-thirds of the way through the game, I guess. Because it's hard to level up. I know it's really three-fourths, but it's hard to level up when you get higher. So that's why I factored in the two-thirds. Okay. <laughs> I already kind of talked about, I guess, what I was going to talk about today and the first day I recorded, which was about... I forgot to put the time down. I think I started at 6.40. Who knows? Okay, what am I doing? Uh, well, I just want to say it was bad. I don't think I said it yet, but it was pretty, pretty bad and pretty historic <laughs> thing that happened. Um, um, I don't think it would have been as historic if the police had just been able to keep the people out of the capital, because people protest outside the capital all the time, and maybe they might have gotten violent. They, they probably still would have gotten violent. But, I don't know, if the, if the police would have just like pepper sprayed them, and then they didn't get into the capital, Maybe the police were kind of thinking about the Black Lives Matter stuff, and they were like, well, people people didn't like when we pepper sprayed people there, so we don't want to do it here. But then they just let them in. <laughs> you can't let them into the Capitol while it's in session. That's craziness. That's, that's, a, that's the literal definition of a coup. Like, they went in there. I don't know. I don't think they went in there. I don't think they, they, they didn't expect to get that far. Basically, the president had a speech at the White House and he was like, we're gonna walk over to the Capitol and let's just go tell them how we feel or something. <laughs> um, the, so the, the president didn't say, well, let's overthrow the government, but that's super implied in what he was saying because he's saying, <clears throat> they stole the election from us. Nothing I did yet has worked. Pence isn't gonna do anything. We're gonna go over to the Capitol 
okay, I mean, what's next? <laughs> it's it's coup time, right? That's the only thing left. If if he didn't want a coup, he would have said like, yeah, they stole this from me, but like, we can't do anything. So what are you gonna do? I tried everything and. And he wanted, I don't know, he, uh, I don't think he even knows what he was saying. Did he realize he was encouraging a coup? <laughs> like, to overthrow the government to kill Nancy Pelosi and, and Mitch McConnell because they wouldn't... That's what he was encouraging. <laughs> because they wouldn't reject the electors. I don't know. It's like, f f follow that through. <laughs> where where does it lead? What does he want? What did he What did he want? Like, we're gonna go to the Capitol and just be like protests? I don't know. I guess. I'm trying not to do my cognitive dissonance. Washington ain't gonna listen to cognitive dissidents. <laughs> so what are they gonna do? Are they gonna invoke the twenty? Did I? Did I guess? I I, I guess they wouldn't do. They might impeach him again. I don't see why not. Next week, they could vote on impe impeachment articles, but I don't think Pence is gonna invoke the 25th Amendment. That's my guess. That's a pretty, it's a pretty bold thing to do, and he doesn't seem like someone who would make that kind of a super bold. Um, it's unprecedented. He doesn't seem like a very unprecedented person. That's what I mean. Because you might say, well, oh, it was bold for him to, to vote for the electors or whatever, or to accept the electors. But that's something that had been done every time, every four years for the entire history. It had never not been done. So he didn't want to do anything that hadn't been done before. But to invoke the 25th Amendment it has never been done. I think it's section four of the 25th Amendment. It's interesting because I've been watching the West Wing and they kind of go through all this stuff. And um, I was watching ABC and Rahm Emanuel was like, Congress should at least, Congress should do a congressional censure. That was the first time I heard that word outside of the West Wing. Because that's what happens to Bartlett. He gets censured for lying about his MS. And I was like, oh, that would be cool if they actually did a censure. Because nobody's ever done. Since Andrew Jackson. Jackson, no, We haven't done a censure. Which is just a... I think I call it a congressional finger wag. <laughs> it's basically what it is. But, it, but it's a good idea. Like, to ha because... It's something a lot of the senators agree on. Like, this was wrong, and it was Trump's fault, and he needs to admit it was wrong. That's what a censure is. It's an admission of guilt without really any punishment. Um, it's not an impeachment or anything. Which, is well, an impeachment is kind of like a... But mm, it's different, because the, the president doesn't have to admit guilt for an impeachment. But a censure is an, is an admission of guilt. Oh, I forget how a censure works. Does the president have to sign it? Or can Congress override it and be like, on behalf of the president, we say what he did was wrong? Because in the West Wing, the whole idea was Bartlett signed a thing and was like, I admit that what I did was wrong. Instead of going through impeachment uh, trials. I have to look at the time. What is it? 
Oh, I'd write it down. I have uh, four minutes left. I was watching some of my old videos and I didn't like my camera positioning. It was too far this way so that like, I don't understand this optical illusion where like if I move my head to the side like this, I look like a gargoyle, <laughs> but if I look straight on, it's like fine. I don't get that. I don't understand. I'm, it is an optical illusion. If someone looks at you from the side, they don't see like, oh, this looks like a totally different person. Eh, maybe once in a while. But your brain is just so used to seeing your reflection in the mirror and it kind of likes it, I guess, because, well, I don't know. It's used to it. So if you see it differently, like, oh, who is that? Who is that monster, man? Where did Anthony go? But I feel like I've gotten good with the camera placement. Like I gotta look straight, keep it straight. Don't turn. No, 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 don't, do, do. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> You're turning too much. I, I guess it's important to note that I'm feeling fine today. I'm feeling as good as I did last week, which is as important. Because last week I said, oh, I'm, I'm feeling the best I ever felt, and next week I'm going to feel terrible. I don't. I'm still taking the medicine. Um, it's hard. It feels like a lot of little things are going right. So that's kind of adding up. Like, well, if I wasn't taking this medicine, I probably would feel good anyway. Maybe? I don't know. That's not true. A lot of little things are going right. I kind of wanted to talk about this. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But my boss is, is still... Um, did I mention that he's like hurt and he can't come into work? And that's why I'm happy. <laughs> um, he hasn't been into work and I haven't talked to him in like three weeks or something. It's him. I mean, oops, wait. I thought the only way to hurt him was uh, to do one of these, and I don't know now what to do. There we go. Why didn't the flame work? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. I want to talk about that. How my boss like the, all that all that stuff that work and whatever don't do that don't do that I think that's it for today keep them short I think yesterday I went like over 20 minutes but today 15 minutes was good The Mets are doing good. We should talk about that. My Metsies made a good trade today. They got Francisco Lindor and Carlos Carrasco. They got rid of two guys that I liked. Ahmed Rosario and uh, Jimenez, Andres Jimenez. I liked those guys, but I mean, I don't know. I'm happy about the Metsies. So, see you tomorrow.